All right, so let's go ahead and put your basic math skills to the test. And if you actually have pretty strong basic math skills, you should be able to easily do this problem without a calculator. So no calculators, but we have a fraction here. And the numerator is 5 times 8 divided by negative 2. And the denominator is 2 plus negative 6. Okay, so if you want to try this problem, go ahead and put your answer into the comment section. I'll show you the correct solution in just one second. Then, of course, I'm going to solve this problem step by step. All right, now before we show you the answer, uh, let's just go ahead and take one more look at the problem. And feel free to pause the video uh, before you see the answer. Okay, so 5 times 8 divided by negative 2 over 2 plus negative 6. Again, uh, feel free to pause the video so you can work on this. But uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the correct answer. The correct answer here is a positive 5. Okay, so if you did not use a calculator and this is what you got, well, you're going to get all of this. So uh, we have an A+, plus, 100%, a happy face, and a certificate of excellence for you because you appear to be a certified professional expert in basic math. So good job. Now, if you're like uh, Mr. YouTube Math Man, I know I should know this, but uh, it's been like 40 years since I've uh, done any arithmetic. Well, no worries. I'm going to go ahead and review all of this. Matter of fact, uh, let's go ahead and get started right now. So before we get into the actual uh, steps to solve this problem without a calculator, let's go ahead and just kind of review some of the main ideas or the main skills that you need to have in order to do this problem without a calculator. All right, so the first thing is uh, you need to know a thing or two about fractions. So we have this entire thing up here. This is the numerator, and uh, we have all this down here. This is the denominator of a fraction. So you need to know a little bit about fractions to do this problem. Now, also, we have multiplication, division, and addition. So you need to uh, understand basic number operations. So hopefully you're pretty good with uh, multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction. Now, the next thing that we have here is some negative values. So you need to know how to work with positive and negative numbers. So you can kind of see here that our skills or what's required to solve this problem is kind of adding up. Now, the last thing that you need to understand to uh, solve this problem is the order of operations. So things like multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction, these things are called mathematical operators, and we have to do this problem in the correct order or we will get it wrong. So the correct order of operations uh, can be remembered by this lovely acronym right here called PEMDAS. Okay, so I'm going to just do a quick review of this. And then once we understand uh, the order of operations, we're going to get into solving this problem. Okay, so PEMDAS is, again, a checklist. It goes from left to right. And if we follow this acronym, uh, we will do uh, math problems in the correct order. All right, so P stands for parentheses. So if we have any parentheses in our uh, problem, now, not just uh, these types of uh, parentheses, uh, anything, is like, anything like brackets or these type of squiggly brackets, these things right here are, are called uh, grouping symbols. So if you have any grouping symbols, i.e. parentheses or brackets in your problem, this is where you're going to start first. Now, if you have a uh, math problem and you have parentheses and then like brackets, you're going to start uh, with the innermost parentheses and just kind of work your way out. All right, so that is the first uh, thing that you're going to look to do. Now, if there are no parentheses in your problem, you just move on to the next step, and that is E. Okay, so E stands for exponents, but uh, you can think of this as powers. So if I have 2 to the third power, this 3 right here is the exponent on this power. 2 is the base, so this uh, means take 2 and multiply it by itself 3 times, so 2 times 2 times 2 is a okay now again not every single problem is going to have parentheses or powers but uh, if you do you have to do uh, these steps in this particular order all right so moving on we have m d a and s so i'm going to highlight uh, a real common a real common mistake uh, with uh, students in mathematics or people in math so here it is okay now 
you can see I kind of circled M and D and A and S, but the M, D, A and S stand for the following. So M is multiplication, D stands for division, A stands for addition, and S stands for subtraction. Now, some of you might be saying, hey, Mr. YouTube Math Man, I know what you're going to do next. Uh, we have to do all multiplication because this is a checklist. It's going from left to right. Well, that is not the way this works. Okay, so the way PEMDAS actually works is uh, if you have uh, both multiplication and division in your problem, what you're going to do is whatever you see first from left to right. And this uh, gives uh, a lot of people uh, some confusion. So you got to really understand PEMDAS and the correct order of operations or you will make an error. All right, so again, if you have both uh, multiplication and division in your problem, you're going to do whatever you see first from left to right. Now, after you've uh, done all multiplication and division, you move, uh, you move on to any addition and subtraction and do it in the same manner. Okay, so now let's go ahead, or now let's go ahead and get into uh, the correct steps to solve this problem. So we want to keep PEMDAS in mind, all right? So we have all these operations that we have to do, but uh, really what's going on here is that we have a fraction. Now in a fraction, okay, basically we can simplify the numerator or think of the numerator up here as its own separate problem. Okay, so in other words, if we can simplify, get this down to one value and then do the same thing for the denominator, then we can simplify the entire uh, fraction. Okay, so when you are working with fractions, always kind of separate the numerator and the denominator into their separate groups. Okay, so let's go ahead and just kind of focus on this. So group one, if you will, will be the numerator and group two will be the denominator. All right, so the next steps that we're going to take is all the work to get the, uh, the numerator down to one value then all the work to get the denominator down to one value, then we'll simplify the final fraction. Now, before we continue on, please consider hitting that subscribe button. This really does help me help as many people as possible on YouTube. Now, my channel is all about trying to make math clear, understandable, and interesting. Also, I'm trying to encourage people that are having a tough time in math to never give up. So if you enjoyed this content, again, hit that subscribe button. And if you're going to do that, hit that bell notification as well so you can get my latest videos. So before we do all this uh, math and finish the problem, let's just do a quick review. Okay, so anytime you have a fraction, remember uh, you want to treat the numerator and the denominator as their own separate problems, okay? In other words, uh, get this down to one value, get the denominator down to one value, then you can simplify the resulting fraction. Okay, now uh, one interesting thing about fractions is the actual fraction bar. So in other words, this thing right here. So for example, if you have two over three or the fraction two thirds, uh, the fraction bar means division. So in other words, uh, let's suppose you wanted to change uh, this fraction into a decimal. Well, what you have to do is take two and divide it by three. So you would have to do uh, this uh, lovely division problem. But to remember the fraction bar means division, but it also means something else. Okay, so the fraction bar is also a grouping symbol. So in terms of PEMDAS, you're creating two groups. So in other words, you can actually put parentheses or brackets around uh, the numerator and the denominator just to be very clear that indeed you have to do this first and then this first and then division uh, after that, all right? So P is the first thing that you're going to do in PEMDAS. Okay, so uh, I think this is a kind of an interesting little fact that the fraction bar is indeed a grouping symbol but it's also division as well. Okay, so let's go ahead and do the math. So uh, we can kind of think of this, um, as I indicated, as two problems, all right? So in our kind of brain, or when we do our work, just, uh, you know, we'll just take one step at a time in the numerator and one step at a time in the denominator, or you can just do all the work in the numerator and then uh, move on to the denominator. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, reference our PEMDAS checklist. So uh, we'll start up here in the numerator. 
So P, do we have any parentheses? Well, we have negative two in parentheses, but uh, the P in PEMDAS means that, do you have any math operations inside of grouping symbols? So in other words, if you have like five minus three, well, there's something, uh, something to do. So if you just have a number inside of parentheses, well, there's really nothing to do, so we just kind of move on to the next step. All right, so E, exponents, do we have any powers? Well, we don't have any powers in this problem, but uh, do we have any multiplication and division? All right, so up here in the numerator, indeed we have both uh, multiplication and division. So what do we see first from left to right? Well, we see multiplication. All right, so we need to do uh, the multiplication first. So five times eight, of course, is 40. All right, so now we have 40 divided by negative two. I'll take this step in just one second, but uh, let's go ahead and focus our attention down here in the denominator. All right, so two plus negative six. Uh, now, assuming you know how to add positive and negative numbers, you should know that the answer is negative four. But uh, if you're uh, you know, unsure why that is the case, I'll give you uh, some suggestions on how you can learn all of this stuff in just one second. But uh, the correct answer here is negative four. Okay, so we are done down here in the denominator, but we still need to do this step in the numerator. So 40 divided by negative two. Okay, so anytime you are doing, uh, doing division and you have positive and negative numbers, a positive divided by a negative is negative. So 40 divided by negative two is a negative 20. All right, so now we have negative 20 in our numerator and we have negative four down here in our denominator. So now finally we get to simplify this fraction. Okay, so keep in mind again, the fraction bar does mean division. So now we have negative 20 divided by negative four. A negative uh, divided by a negative is a positive. So negative 20 divided by negative four is a positive five, which of course is our answer. All right, so once again, uh, basic math, you know, uh, actually involves quite a few uh, skills. And I think a lot of uh, students or a lot of people that are studying, you know, more advanced math like algebra, right? So maybe like algebra or geometry. Uh, oftentimes what I've seen as a math teacher is that uh, if people are struggling over here at this level, uh, typically they haven't really mastered all the basic math skills like fractions, positive and negative numbers, order of operations, et cetera, et cetera. All right, so don't minimize these skills. It's critical that you understand basic math to be successful in more advanced math. And the only way you're going to uh, really learn these skills is uh, by practicing and practicing, all right? And if you make an error, no big deal, but uh, you need to correct your errors. And then of course, practice you know things in the right way. Okay, so I hope this video helped you out. And if that's the case, don't forget to like and subscribe. Now, if you need additional help in basic math, check out these two courses right here. So the first is my Math Foundations course. This is a, a quick review of basic math. Now, if you wanna review uh, basic math, algebra, and geometry, then check out my Math Skills Rebuilder course. I'm gonna leave uh, links to both of these courses in the description of this video. All right, so with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your math adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.